king and queen arrive on the royal yacht Victoria and Albert, which breaks the tape across the entrance to the new dock, the world's largest graving dock. The dock has taken six years to build. It is 1,200 feet in length and 135 feet in breadth, and it is thus large enough to accommodate Cunada number 534 if and when her construction is completed. with much pleasure the invitation to be present at the day's ceremony. And I thank you heartily for the loyal and dutiful address which you, Mr. Loder, have presented. The association of my family with the great docks in Southampton Water is, as you say, a long one. And I personally have a vivid recollection of that day in August 95, as it blew and rained all day, <laughs> when I accompanied my father at the opening of the Prince of Wales's dock, the largest in existence at that time. It affords me, therefore, special satisfaction to inaugurate today this splendid addition to the dock system of the port. From the early days of our overseas trade, Southampton has held a foremost place in the commercial life of this country. This position it has retained as the result of wise and continuous development. It is as true today as ever that the welfare of this country is largely bound up with the prosperity of its seaborne traffic. Realizing the vital need for efficiency in our ports, as in all other requirements of our merchant navy, I look upon the opening of this the largest craving dock in the world as a good augury for the future of Southampton. I have much pleasure in declaring the dock open for use and in naming it the King George V Craving Dock. Her Majesty completes the ceremony by pouring Empire wine into the water after the naming of the King George V Graving Dock. <laughs> 